It's nice to see the first family enjoying each other's company. Yes, it is. Oh, you were being sarcastic. Very perceptive. Oh, I did it again. Forgive me? Everything down. Now. You heard your mother. But did you? Let me just put this down now. <laughs> Good. You know, we need to interact more as a family. What's going on? What are you all up to? All right, let's start with something easy. What are your names? <laughs> so, Charles, what about you? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing really. Oh, wait. I'm running for student council. What? You running for class president? That was the launching pad of my entire political career. This is big. It's huge. I know. That's why I'm running for class secretary. And the best part is, unopposed. So I got a pretty good chance of winning. Wait a minute. Did you say secretary? Yeah. Oh, well, that's... Son, uh, times have changed. A young man can be a secretary, too. Or a nurse. Or a mother. A mother? Look, I'm just trying to be supportive. <laughs> it's all right, Papa-in-law. We know your heart's in the right place. We just don't know where your brain is. <laughs> Olivia, sweetie, what about you? I'm making a macaroni necklace in school. That is really great, honey. Charles, let me get this straight. You could run for president, but you choose not to. Uh-huh. OK. Let me put it in a different way. You're going for secretary, but you could run for president. Right. OK. Let me put it a third way. How on I earth? I think that's enough interacting for one day. What have I been up to? Well, after years of research, I think I finally figured out who was behind the JFK. That's great, Bernard. Charles, listen to me about the secretary thing. Really? Yep. You promised? Okay, well, I didn't actually say the word promise. Yes, she did. I've got witnesses. Okay, so I promised. Well, you know, when you promise something in this family, you have to do it because that... I know, I know, because a person is only as good as their word. Exactly. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, love. And this is for you. Well, what is this? This is from me? Mm -hmm. Well, I love it. When did you buy this? And how could you afford something like this? This must have been expensive. I made it. You're kidding. Well, you know what? I'm going to put this on right now, and I'm not going to take it off until I fall asleep tonight. Really? You promise? I promise. <laughs> oh, it's a little heavier than I thought. <laughs> Ooh, and a little sharp. <laughs> Hager to hold it together. Okay. Oh, ma'am, there you are. I just wanted to. Da -da. Ah, my baby made this for me, and I'm wearing it all day. Yeah, mommy promised. Oh, so that means that you'll be wearing it to the National Museum's gala event tonight? Tonight? Oh, I thought that was tomorrow. No, ma'am, it's tonight. And since the press will be there covering it, maybe you should wear that beautiful necklace all day tomorrow? No. Mommy's wearing it tonight. She promised. I've got witnesses. Uh, well, you know, I don't know how reliable your witness is since they were drinking. <laughs> I heard you promise, too. Ha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, looks like I'm gonna be wearing this all night. 
Hey, Dad. You wanted me? I was just in the middle of finishing up my term paper. When's it due? Last week. You'll get it done, Mr. President. Oh, oh. Sounds good, huh? Mr. President. Dad, I'm running for class secretary. I understand. And I support and encourage that choice. I wouldn't have it any other way. In fact, why don't you have a seat while I support and encourage you, son? All right. Let's take it for a spin. Oh, 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 oh. It's comfortable, huh? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. This is comfortable because it is the president's chair. Now, son, I understand you're running for class secretary, but just in case you change your mind and want to run for president, I have a one or two quick ideas I'd like to run by you. Yeah, okay, sure. Good. How about another spin? Oh, oh, oh. Send in the team. And as we continue on to page 227 of your campaign strategy compendium, you'll find an illustrated breakdown of the cafeteria demographics. Dad, is this really... Exciting? Of course it is. Here's the good news. The projected numbers show you capturing 93% of the jock vote. We've got 78% of the C students. Those are your people. Fantastic. What else do we have, team? Two o'clock fundraiser at the library. The library? I, I don't even know how to get there. Lying in a map. Unfortunately, you're only tracking with 16% of the goth vote. Apparently, you smile too much. Charles, you remember Frank, one of my speechwriters? Frank is now your senior speechwriter. I took the liberty of writing up your talking points. Talking points? I promise that there will be no more term papers. That's great. How do I even do that? Just get elected first. Then we'll worry about it. Charles, there's one more thing we want to show you. Can't wait. Can't wait. We found some cool kids who are going to talk you up and get out the vote. Where are my dogs at? Agent Hardison? Agent Hill? Hey, everybody. Vote for Charles, because he's not whack. <laughs> yeah, bruh. Charles is awesome. To the extreme max, dude. Word. <laughs> Love it. Hey, guys. Mommy, your scarf is covering my necklace. No one can see it. Are you sure? I think people can see it plenty. It's prettier this way. The scarf is way too much. Thank you, dear. Yes, the scarf is way too much. Ma'am, I don't know who did that to you, but I shall have words with the Secret Service. I love it. Fashion you can eat. You're already wearing everything you've eaten. Look who's talking, Chunky. You're still working off that Thanksgiving of 1905. <laughs> no, Kevin. That's a nice necklace. Uh, well, thank you. Olivia made it, and I guess I'm wearing it to the gala tonight. Mommy, if I made you something, would you promise to wear it? Yes, of course. If you made it, I would wear it as soon as you gave it to me. Here. Oh, you already made it. <laughs> it's great. What am I going to learn? Obviously not tonight. It's a superhero headband. If you wear it, it gives you superpowers. Is invisibility one of them? <laughs> I can still see you. It's hard not to. I think you look good. You needed a little sparkle. Nice job, Lucas. You want some sparkle too, Grandpa? I can make another one. <laughs> I'd love to, but you know, too much sparkle is bad for my bunion. You a necklace? Oh, I love one, honey. <laughs> but I'm, I'm allergic to noodle-based fashion. <laughs> See, that's how it's done. Oh, that's good. I hear you. Uh, <clears throat> kids, about tonight. Mommy, you're going to look fabulous wearing that headband and necklace, just like you promised. Yay! Oh, you know how much trouble you in, right? Yeah. But it's worth it. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you wearing my 
mascara? Maybe. My new image consultant picked this whole outfit out for me and it's supposed to help me with the goth vote. What do you care? You're not running against anybody. That's when I was running for secretary, but now dad's got me running for class president. Wait, you're not smart enough to be class president. I know. <laughs> Whatever. President, secretary, what's the difference, right? Are you kidding? Being president is way more work than secretary. It is? Yeah. If you're president, you have to be at school early every day to read the morning announcements. I did not know that. Yeah, and at lunch, you have to help out in the cafeteria. But that's my nap time. I know. And worst of all, you have to stay after school for meetings with the teachers and the principal. Oh, oh man. I'm getting depressed. Well, that will help you with the goth vote. <laughs> Charles, what's the matter? Why are you dressed like that? Yeah, you look like Blackula. I'm doing this to get the goth vote so I can become class president. Oh, I'm so excited. Including me, three presidents in one family. Woo, boy, did I do good. Three presidents? What were you ever the president of? You think the Elvin Johnson Appreciation Society runs itself? Well, it has to. You're the only member. You're doing all this just to get votes. Yeah, my dad's pushing me into this crazy campaign that I don't want to be a part of. You've got to help me. Don't you worry, baby. We'll fix it for you. Leave it to me and your ugly Aunt Fido. <laughs> Charles, if you want to win this thing, you got to fight dirty. Real dirty, slinging muddy mud dirty. I'm talking low down pig rolling in the mud dirty. <laughs> this isn't the kind of help I meant. Oh, I see where you're going. Deniability. Wink, wink, wink. Charles, we got it all worked out. We're up against one Summer Morales. We? Turns out little Miss Summer didn't pay her income taxes. Because she's 15. Exactly. That's 15 years worth of birthday checks from grandma. Now, did she report those earnings? Oh, no, she did not. And that's wrong. And rumor has it she wants to take away grilled cheese Fridays. I haven't heard that rumor. That's because we haven't spread it yet. She's trying to cut the cheese. You gotta stop her. And now, for the best part. Your campaign spot, sir. Picture this on the TV screen. This election, Summer Morales wants to be your student council president. But did you know on Halloween, her parents gave away pencils? Pencils. You can't eat a pencil. You'd be constipated and bloated, just like her. Summer Morales practices the cello every day after school. Now she wants to take away your video games and make you play the cello every day after school. <laughs> Summer's over. It's time for a new season. The season of Charles. My name is Charles Johnson, and I approve this message. Lucas and Olivia are on their way. Okay, so you know what to do. Just remember, I'm not that good of an actress. In high school, I was fired from Annie. Well, Annie's the toughest part. I played the Christmas tree. <laughs> Ironically, they said my performance was too stiff. <laughs> Lucas and Olivia, what a surprise. Wow, Mommy, you look beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. First Lady, I am not so sure. Something does not seem quite right. Oh, but it can't be my headband or my necklace because they're both so beautiful, right? Correct, you are. Aha, uh -huh. so it must be the dress. I should change it. Uh, but I don't have time. Whatever can we do? Don't worry, Mom. We're thinking the same thing. You were? Yeah. Noodles don't go with army men. Army men don't go with noodles. <laughs> You're both right. <laughs> yes, you two are correct. I'm nailing this. <laughs> well, what a shame, because I really wanted to wear them both. And you still can. That's why we made this. It's a belt. <laughs> It has noodles and army men. See? It all matches. You're gonna work it, Mommy! Uh, 
Ah, is that a future class president I see walking into my office? Oh, oh, oh. Huh, I believe it is. Dad, we need to talk. Wait, wait. Don't thank me yet, son. Look at this. Who is that? That's you. Huh? <laughs> Saying yes to success. Bobble with me, son. It needs work, okay? Listen, we are gonna make up 400 of these and we're gonna give them to every single kid in school. Mr. President, Charles has a visitor, a Miss Summer Morales. Stay calm, cool, and collected. Never let your guard down. Remember, stay strong. <laughs> Bernard, please show her in. Miss Morales. Mr. President, it's an honor to meet you, sir. Your first State of the Union address inspired me to go into public service. It should be required reading in schools. Thank you. You know, interesting story about how that speech came along. I was traveling. Sir, stay strong. Right. Son, she's good. <laughs> but remember, we've got the bobbleheads. Say what? <laughs> so, Summer. What's up? Charles, I wanted to tell you in person. I'm dropping out. You win. Yes! See you in school, Charles. Wait, why are you dropping out? Because you were going to destroy me. I'm just bummed I won't be able to make all the changes I planned. Getting books donated to the library, setting up a regular recycling day. I even had some great guest speakers to talk about careers. You know, I really wanted to make a difference. Wow. That's too bad. <laughs> but as a consolation, take this, your very own bobblehead. Wait, you shouldn't drop out. What? Because I am. You'd make a much better president than I ever would. Thank you, thank you so much. I'd really appreciate your support for class secretary though. You definitely have my vote. Thank you. Sure, there's no one running against you. <laughs> nice meeting you, Mr. President. It's a pleasure. Sorry, Dad. Do you really believe she'd make a better president than you? You heard all that stuff she wanted to do? I only wanted to be on student council so I can get out a third period. <laughs> then you put what's best for your school ahead of yourself. That is the mark of a great future leader. I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. Well, tell me the damage. You have nothing to worry about. The press said you looked fabulous. You really are a terrible actress. <laughs> uh, it's worse than I thought. The first lady's fashion sense is macaroni and cheesy. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> In a bad way. It's all bad. Honey, you did the right thing for the kids, and you should feel good. You kept your word. Yeah, yeah, good mother, whatever. <laughs> Could we work on my social calendar, please? Yes, ma'am. You never know, First Lady. You might have started a trend. Jackie Kennedy wore capri pants and it swept the nation. You lost your mind? I was wearing a macaroni necklace. No way, that's catching on. We look good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 